you know, obviously trying trying to silence me and to have scare me into not speaking out for the animals and not speaking up against these, you know, huge, you know, multi-trillion dollar companies that, you know, test on animals and kill innocent lives. This is about more than just animal issues. It's about freedom of speech. We, as Americans, have a right to discuss the state of animals in this country. And it's an important issue. It needs to be discussed, and people have a right to pick it lawfully. In the end, we took them to court. We sued Santa Monica police, and we won. So here I am, and it made me, all that thing, all, all it really made me do is just fuel the fire more. This movement is speaking up on behalf of animals who can't speak for themselves. This movement is doing something unselfish. It's doing something that other movements have never done. Because this movement isn't helping the people within it. It's helping the animals. Okay, uh, we set out uh, to look for the drift net fleets. We found six Japanese squid drift net vessels uh, in an area due north of Hawaii by approximately 1,400 miles. And uh, we filmed them through the night as they were taking in miles and miles of nets, observing uh, birds and dolphins and that in the net. As far as uh, people being willing to, uh, you know, sacrifice their freedom or even risk their life to uh, to do these things, I don't see anything really unusual about that. I mean, pretty much throughout human history, uh, people have uh, made these kind of sacrifices, usually for less noble uh, endeavors like real estate or people's oil wells. So I think that uh, risking your life to protect uh, a species uh, is, is a much more noble effort. Inflatable carries four police officers armed with uh, machine guns, tear gas, uh, bombs over. It's police, then. Why are they after you? Uh, we've made it very clear to them that we have no intention of uh, sitting idly by while they uh, carry on with the slaughter of whales. I think that uh, protecting life always takes precedence over property, and it takes precedence over the law. Uh, sea Shepherd, uh, this is the Coast Guard Vessel. Ola Raja, you are under arrest. You are under arrest. Well, we intend to stop them from going into the ice pack. If that includes having to ram them, yes, we will. Over. You are still under arrest. Will you please stop your engine? different than anybody else. Just made up my mind to do something. Anybody can do it. One person can make a difference. Definitely can make a difference. Together, if there were more of us doing it, we could make some real change. Real change for the animals. Stop the suffering of these animals. These animals are suffering horrible deaths as their bodies are mutilated, their limbs are severed, their skin is burned, they're poisoned to death with these awful substances 
And I think that it's incumbent upon us to say, listen, enough is enough. This is not helping humans, and it's causing an immense amount of suffering for animals. The propaganda that's spewed by industries that exploit animals is just terrific in nature. It is fantastical. Um, Walt Disney couldn't make up a more ghoulish picture of a person than the animal industries have of animal rights activists. The Animal Liberation Front has never hurt a human or animal ever in any of their actions. So how can they compare this to, you know, people that are flying planes into, you know, buildings? How can they compare saving animals to that? People can do so much in their everyday lives to to boycott animal persecution. We can all achieve animal liberation in our living rooms, if you like, and in our kitchen, just by taking the money away from these people that are abusing the animals, by products that aren't of cruelty. If, if these companies aren't getting the money from us, they'll stop doing what they're doing. I think anyone who criticizes the ALS should ask themselves, what am I doing? If you decide to break the law, it's up to you. But do something, don't just be upset about it, Get active, make it change, because it will change eventually. The only question is when, and that's up to each and every one of us. If I could go back in time, I would do the same thing again. If you're not going to risk your life for what you believe in, then what are you going to risk your life for? For God's sake, get up, go out, fight, stop it. We've got to stop it.
our possession Protection comes for free Unqualified and faithful 